Welcome back to Fenry. As you can see, I am here with the lovely English Mastiff Eileen. She is loving the attention. Um, today we are going to be working on the first stages of heel training. So that's kind of working with young pups and getting them into the position of heel rather than going out on long walks with them. It's more of a getting them in the position of heel, luring them into that position and teaching them that is what heel is. So this is very unusual for Eileen that she's very, very excited. So we've got an excited English master puppy to do some training with, which is very exciting. Um, so three steps to doing heel training to start off with your puppy. It's to lure them into position, to cue the behavior, and then to mark the behavior. I have treats in my hand, as you can see, she's getting very excited by that. So what we need to do is lure her into the heel position. So to do that, we'll get her interested in the treat, get her to follow around, lure in, cue the behavior by saying heel, and then mark it by giving her the treat. Yes, good heel, good heel, good heel. She's uh, very good at following a lure. So uh, get their attention again. So we'll do this again. Heel, yes, good heel, Eileen, good heel. I'm marking the behavior by using a yes. You can use a clicker or uh, good, whatever word that is for you. I find yes really useful. I use that when with all my training to mark any kind of behavior, whether it's a sit or whether it's a down, I always mark it with a yes. So then they start to learn that every time they hear that yes, they've done the correct thing that they need to be doing. So let's do that again so you can see. So Eileen, so just get her to follow that lure. Heel, yes, good heel, good heel, Eileen. And then we just keep repeating that. So Eileen's really interested, so we can keep doing it with her. Heel, yes, good heel. Remember that different breeds have different levels of attention span, so this might be for a Labrador or a Malinois, you might be able to do this for ages, but with Eileen, it's probably gonna be a little less of a, um, as her attention span will be less, but as you can see, she's very raring to go. So a way I might level that up within this training session itself is for me to stand up rather than be down here with her. So let's give that a go. So Eileen, so getting her to follow that lure, which is fantastic by Eileen. Heel, yes, good heel, good heel. And that's stage one, guys. You can then start leveling that up with walking around with them and getting them to follow the lure. And then also using a uh, lead inside. I tend to start doing that inside so they get really used to the lead um, rather than having it outside and being distracting all the time. So another way of stepping up that heel work is to change direction. Now it's not a big movement here, there and everywhere. It's just literally one step to the side and another step back whilst luring them into your left hand side as a heel and then move again, heel, and then move again, heel. And all that's doing is teaching them when I'm by your left hand side, then I am in heel and that is a good behavior that I'm after. Right, let's see if we can get Eileen back into working. <laughs> she seems whether she's interested. And this is what we talk about, about realistic expectations as well, guys. We want her to end on a win and um, we want her to be interested, but we also don't want to set her up to fail. So if she is starting to lose interest and you can tell that, then we don't want to keep going with this training session. But as you can see, she's back up and she's interested. So I mean, so get that lure. Heel, yes, good heel, good heel. So when I talk about changing direction, we can literally do this. Heel, yes, good heel, good heel, Eileen. So that's it, guys. That's all you need to do to step up that heel walking. Start off really, really simple, really simple lure, and then you can start building it up and up to walking around your house with a lead on potentially, and then stepping it up even more to going outside, adding in distractions, and then you're gonna have your dog walking to heel perfectly, and it will be a delight to go on a walk. So we'll see you next time on Fenrir.